Rice water. Yeah, pick one. I know what I'm doing, Missy Poo Poo. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have prepared um, a detangling video for your wash and goes that you may have had for a few days. Just showing you how you can refresh it and revive it. Um, and y'all, I'm about to be tried in this video. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> I used my mom as my model and she was harassing me throughout this video to use the rice water in her hair that she loves so much. If you guys haven't seen my rice water videos on how I prepare it and use it, I'll put a little link in here for you. I'm going to the tips. That's rice water. No, this is just um, detangler and stuff. Guys, it was so bad that as I was editing, I had to go through and put a counter in here to see how many times she actually said rice water. But anyway, um, so as you can see, what I'm doing here is just wetting her hair down with the mixture that I prepared um, in the spray bottle. And you can see there was already a lot of product like still left over in her hair, but um, she hadn't tied it up at night. So her wash and go was like all messed up. You know what? I had got my hair with that rice water. My hair was absorbing stuff. I know really what you well need to looking do. so hydrated. Remember? I need that right her. Up in her. Yeah, we're gonna get to that in a second. Cause my that's not even my firm into the like mouth. <laughs> I, I can't even do one video on your head. You just won't eat like we didn't even start yet. Good lord. The rice water is barely fermented. It hasn't even been here for 24 hours. That's a waste. I got some in the fridge that's been here for two weeks. Oh, God. All right. Let me go get you. No, rice that's okay. Water. You don't got to get it. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't put that crap in my hair sitting oh, here for two weeks. Oh, God. Like, what do you think will happen to your hair if you put something that's been sitting in the fridge for two weeks in your hair? I'm not sure, sis. Can you even use two week old rice water? Or <laughs> would it be a great thing? Or, or like a. So you definitely want to, well, in this case, just based on, you know, the, the dryness of her wash and go at that point, you know that you need to really saturate the hair with the leave-in mixture. So that's what I was doing. I'm just going through and making sure it's super saturated and then gently parting the hair with my um, fingertips before going in with the detangling brush. You also want to make sure you have some clips so that you're able to separate the hair into very small parts. These, in my opinion, are kind of medium parts. Um, depending on how tangled your hair is, you should go as small as necessary. Going. Going. That right water, you I'm sorry, you was thinking. I wasn't trying to talk you out of using it. I was just trying to talk you out of making me smell it. This is passive aggressive 101. Like, she was really on me about that rice water. So here I'm just, um, after I saturate the hair, actually, I neglected to mention, it's really important the, um, you want to follow the LOC method which is starting with the leave-in, which we sprayed in. Then you can go in with your oil. In this case, I'm using coconut oil on her hair. Then I'm going in with this styling jelly from Cantu. I think it's called like a curl custard. It's very important that you apply the products in this order because the leave-in is going to get the hair nice and saturated and prepared for the other products that you need to put in. The oil is going to um, essentially hydrate the strands of your hair and then 
And then the last step is C, which is cream. In this case, that's the Cantu um, curling custard. Because the thing is, if you put the custard, oh, and here I am going in with the Eco Styler gel, that's the final part, that helps to really define the curls. Um, if you go in with the cream or the gel before the oil, you are not going to get that maximum hydration into your hair and the curls aren't going to come out correct. So it's important to wet it with the leave-in, then you go in with your oil, and then you go in with the cream, which is my um, curling custard and then my gel. And I'm moving right along to the next section. You can see making sure the hair is super saturated before going through and gently parting it. The video is pretty much sped up, so it may look like I'm just blowing through it, but this literally took me upwards of an hour because I was just going through really slowly, being sure not to you know, rip out any hairs that may have been tangled. And when I say saturated, I mean like her hair was literally dripping as I was combing it. Okay, so the steps are extremely repetitive. Um, again, I'm just gonna repeat, you want to spray your leave-in conditioner, get your hair super saturated, gently part it, then you can add your oil and your cream or um, gel in this case. Another quick little FYI, the smaller the part that you use when you are trying to define curls, the better the curl will come. So for example, if you were able to literally part your hair um, with just a few strands and work the product through, your curls will come out more and more defined. So that's what you'll see me attempting to do in this part, just not parting it pretty small but I'm just um, running my fingers through the tips of her hair, trying to pick up smaller pieces and define the tips of her curls. So I went ahead and just fast forward it to when I got to the front of her hair. As I was working through her hair, I noticed a lot of heat damage strands, like for instance here in the front on this part. So what you can do for that is you can pretty much roll it up with like those really skinny um, curling rollers. I don't know the exact name of them, but they're sold at your local beauty supply store. You'll see they have like a really skinny body because in this case, that curl would match her texture the most. And after that, you can go under your hooded dryer. You want to make sure your setting is on cool, not hot. And... This is your finished result. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about the process or the products used, feel free to drop a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, if you're a new viewer, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you will be notified when I post more videos like this. Thanks!